everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week. I've had a pretty good week. It's been kind of a product, not anything exciting or good, but pretty productive. And I've got so many good things sitting here to tell you about. Today, I wanted to show you this that I have really been enjoying. I've been keeping it in my car. This is the Zero One Universal La Base Rosie. And it's just one of those kind of like, you know, every brand has this. But for some reason, I like this one better than most. It doesn't get, it's what I've got on now. It doesn't get so bright pink. It just stays like a normal kind of lip color and conditioner. And so this morning I put on, I wanted to have a little bit more just for my video. So I put on Milani Spice and then I put this on. And um, so I wanted to see, let you see it now and see how pretty it is. And then I want to add just a little bit of this lip liner, which is NARS um, Precision Lip Liner. What's the name of it? Anyway, I'll put it down below. But um, sometimes I just put this on and then I just touch up the edges of my lips a little bit. And just give them a little bit more definition. And I really like this color. It's kind of like your lip color. And then maybe just a little bit down here. And that makes them even better. And so all, the only lip color I have on is that lip base. And it blends well with other lip liners. And what I really like it for is when I've gone out with a lip combination on and then I don't bring it with me, I can just put that on and it just kind of revives my face a little bit. This is just, I was hoping, I've ordered some more things and I was hoping that they would get here, but I had a feeling they wouldn't. So I'll show you the rest of it when it gets here. But you guys know how much I love undergarments and stuff. And I just love it. I just, like I've told you before, I think it makes you feel so good. It just starts your day out right when you, you know, love what you're putting on. And But to me, you guys know it has to be comfortable. It has to be comfortable. It has to look good under clothes. And has to be soft. All that kind of good stuff. So I have found something pretty fabulous and it is from the brand of kim kardashian i think it's skims and one of you guys had asked me about it and i was like oh yeah i forgot about that because i remember when she first launched it was another name and a lot of people it was she had to change it some people got offended and i can't remember what it was but um so this is what i've gotten so far and it is the triangle bralette and it's the mesh, but what is really cool is see, it's like a double layer of mesh, which is stretchable. And then this stretches, this stretches, this stretches, this stretches, and these are adjustable. And then the back, see how thin it is? And it's very soft. It's not like the ones I got a long time from ASOS that were similar to this. I liked those, but they had a really thin, just like a piece of elastic band, and they would kind of like cut into you, and they were kind of itchy. They just weren't, they didn't lay down pretty, and <clears throat> excuse me, they didn't feel good against your skin. These, I mean, this thing feels so good. And notice how it's kind of deep cut, like a plunging line and um it's kind of far not far apart but what i like this for is like that dress and i will insert a picture here and keep in mind you know we all have different boobs so we're all going to look different in it but for those of you like me that don't want your boobs pushed up and you want something minimal but something that still gives some support this is wonderful and because it is the not a straight across bralette, which they do have a straight across bralette that I want to get, but because it's this shape, if something is V cut, it looks pretty. And even if this does show, it's so simple and so pretty that it doesn't look bad. It's not like, 
I don't think anyone would even think about it, if not think it looked pretty. So I just love this. And I don't think it was crazy expensive. Um, like I said, I tried, I want to get, and I'm going to get those thong body suits. I want the nude one and the black one, but they have been on back order forever and I'm on the wait list. Hey, I'm trying to think of my exciting things that I got this week. Okay, I'll go on with eyeshadow palettes. Laura Mercier sent me their new palette, which is the Parisian Nudes. And it's not gonna be the typical nudes that we are used to, which I am thankful for. I am, I love it when some palettes come out that aren't like a crazy theme color, but yet they're not orangey. And um, so these are cool nudes. And what I want to tell you about this, I was thinking about it this morning, First of all, let me show you another palette, and then I'll kind of go over what I have on my eyes. But I was in Ulta yesterday, and um, they just got a whole new little stand of things that they sell online, but they haven't sold in the store. So it's kind of like, you know, new things for the store. And this is the Zoeva palette, which, oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? And this is the Melody palette. And so today, it's gorgeous too, and it's got a good, just array of some little bit of warm, a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, brown, everything. It's just a really good palette. So today I started out with this shade in my crease because I always believe that you need a warm shade in your crease before you start off with anything. Even a no shadow look, a purple look, anything. I believe in starting with a little warm, like, um, Scandalous Beauty was her name. She was on here when I first started watching YouTube and I loved her. She had the best personality and she always um, used Foley, Mac Foley to bang out that crease is what she said. So you need to find a good color to bang out that crease. And then you can go in with colors like this. And um, I wanna, I tried to adjust the light some. It seems like I'm brighter today for some reason. But um, let me get close up so you can see my eye makeup and see how it really looks like nothing like I don't really have too much on. The way you do that a lot of times is you start off with a orangey or, you know, somewhat warm, you know, flesh colored base. And I swear, what is going on? Now, of course, the, the sun comes back up. I hope you guys can see me. And, um, but then you go in with a color like this. This shade right here is the perfect tone to add that just shadow it just adds it's like you don't even see it and if you will just put it like on the edge like on the edge of your bone right here it will just create that shadow and i just think it looks so pretty it gives you that no shadow shadow look and i am not sure what is going on with my camera i don't know if maybe you guys can see me better than i can i need to get a tripod for my phone and then i'll just start using it so that was what I wanted to say about these two. And then another thing I have on today that I was not crazy about it. This, today's the first day I've worn it and I have worn this formula before and I liked it, but I think this color is just a little bit too light for me right now. I went to the mall and I got a couple new foundations to go, you know, try. I just noticed in my videos, it was still looking so bronzy and so red and my body isn't bronzy and anymore. And so I'm ready to go into my fall and winter look where I'm just more neutral. So I went and got this color, which is the Pro Longwear Nour Nourishing Waterproof Foundation from MAC. And she matched me to the NC25. So it's still slightly yellowish tone, but not any peach or warmer, you know, not any reddish tone. So, so that is what I have on today. And I feel like it is a little bit too light for me still. So I started off with that, and then I went to Ulta yesterday and tried to match up the Laura Mercier Classic Beige Powder, and what we ended up matching it to was the, let me make sure I've got this right here, because I matched up Classic Beige and Rich Vanilla. So, okay, yeah, I think this, is the classic beige color we came out with. So it's gonna be more of your neutral tone. Put it back here, you can see. It is still, I will say it's just not as good, but I don't think we're ever gonna find anything as good as the Laura Mercier. 
So this is what I have on though today and it gave me a lot of extra coverage because I had put on that Pro, um, the MAC with a damp beauty blender. I didn't get a lot of coverage so I went back over it with this. So I would say this would be our dupe for the Classic Beige. This is our dupe for the Rich Vanilla and I didn't have the Rich Vanilla in a um, like pressed form. Hold on, Brooke's coming in. Here is the Rich Vanilla. Anyway, just trust me, we swatched it on our hands and on one of those face chart, the paper charts. So this is as close as we could get to Rich Vanilla, which is Golden Nude. And the close one that we got to um, the Classic Beige is Warm Natural. So it's 12 and 13. Another thing that I got this week that I was excited to tell you guys about, those of you that wear rattan and tawny, like I do in the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I still think is one of the prettiest foundations there has ever been. I just, every time I wear it, I just, I'm like, why don't I wear this more? And it's so good to mix in with stuff too. But another color that I found for us that is just like the rattan, but in a neutral tone, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the 2 into Buff. And I wore this in my video the other day that I did with my phone, and I just loved it all day. The tone was so good, and um, I think it looked prettier than this right now i think it's just a little bit darker and it's just got a little bit more of that yummy tone to it and it just looks really pretty like on the jawline it's just it's such a good foundation so if you wear the colors i do i think this would be worth trying and you can always get a sample and try it something else i got at the mac counter that i have been loving nikki was there that i have known since but right when I started YouTube and I started going in there at the mic counter, she has helped me since then. And I asked her the other day, what was her favorite liner to do wing liner? And she said she still liked the gel liner, which I do too. And then she likes this, which is, it's a pen liner, but it's, it's called brush stroke liner eyeliner liquid. So it is like a pen, but it's made up of brushes. So you can get a fine, fine line, or you can thicken it up. It's similar to, I guess, is the Trooper kind of like that? But I have really enjoyed it. As you can see today, I got in really thin at the front of my eyes, and then I could thicken it up, last all day. It's easy to correct mistakes. I just really like this. And a good thing about getting MAC is you can back to MAC things. Then we were talking about how much we loved the Powder Kiss lipsticks, and this was one of hers that she liked. It's called A Little Tamed. These lipsticks are just so pretty. They are just, they're not matte. It looks like a lipstick that's kind of been blotted on or blotted down. And so this one is just so pretty. And you do not have to wear it that dark. I just wanted to do it so you could see it. But um, here, it just has that. I'm always looking for that tone of like children's lips. And that's what it is. It's like that pinky red the color of, you know, just wintertime lips, just so pretty. So I think that's it. Before I forget, I wanted, I was supposed to tell you this last week and I forgot. Sheila has marked a bunch of Sheila Fajal. I'm friends with her. She's a jewelry designer on her website. They have marked a lot of stuff down. I think 50% to kind of clean out and start over. And we're going to get ready to get started with the fall line. So I wanted to tell you about that and I will link her link below. And then, um, Another thing is, I'll show you when I stand up with my outfit of the day, I've got it on today, but the Miranda Fry belt, I probably should not have shown it to you till it was available because I wore it last week and then it wasn't available until Monday. And I had it on back or, or just wrong. I knew I did, I just didn't even have it put together really because I got, I got it out right before I was doing my video and I got frustrated. And so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put it on like this and then I'll figure it out. Well, I did figure it out, so the flap, doesn't go on the outside, it goes on the inside. It's the kind that slips down and then you kind of put the belt buckle in, just like the Gucci or whatever. So hold on, I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. Okay, so today I am wearing some old jeans, oldies but goodies. I just, I don't know what it is about these Emerson jeans. I just love them. I think the, um, the length is perfect for me. I've got on my Stuart Weitzman 
nudist song, which are just the best shoes. And I just think it's so pretty. It adds a lot of like detail. And even when you have a shirt on like this, that you're not gonna tuck in. I mean, I could tuck in just a little bit of it, but it just adds just something to the outfit. Kind of like the Gucci belt or any belt with a really pretty belt buckle like that. And um, then you guys remember this top is from Zara. And I did get the large because I wanted it to be like this where it was just kind of like an easy top to throw on with like jeans or leggings. And then the rest of my accessories are the Miranda Fry earrings that I always wear. These are just easy to throw in. And then I've got on a couple of different rings that I've been wearing and I've been loving my, my nails. I'll tell you guys how it goes too when I go to get them like done again, refilled or whatever. I'll let you know how that process goes. But those are the Miranda Fry rings. And I've got on her necklaces, except for the one that I never take off, but it is the Lion, I think it's, I want to say Courage, but I know it's not, the Lion necklace. I'll link them all down below. And then this one, this little chain has rhinestones in it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you saw something that you liked. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and I hope that you will follow me on Instagram and I will see you again maybe this weekend. Bye-bye.